Hello, and welcome to this video as part of the Thurgood Associates web series about Tableau 10. This video will cover web authoring, a new feature now available with Tableau 10 Server. My name is Alistair Jones, and I'm a US-based business intelligence and analytics consultant at Thurgood Associates. Thurgood is a strategic alliance partner with Tableau and was named the 2014 Alliance Partner of the Year in the EMEA region. This video will cover the new feature that is part of the Tableau 10 Server offering, Dashboard Web Authoring. This capability allows users to build dashboards in Tableau Server in much the same way that they would in Tableau Desktop via data sources that have been connected to the server. Tableau 10 Server can build worksheets from scratch, including with calculated measures and fields, and users also have the ability to alter existing dashboards that have been published to the server. This new server feature provides the ability to create ad hoc reports to answer business questions. Additionally, dashboards created centrally can be tailored to meet specific teams' needs or updated or altered when required. Or perhaps a central team can create a dashboard template that can then be picked up by users to make them more relevant to certain business units. Having the ability to use Tableau Server to create and alter dashboards also reduces the burden on Tableau desktop licenses within the organization and means that Tableau can scale to a greater degree and reach a broader audience of users. Today I will be demonstrating Tableau 10 server web authoring features on top of insurance data. So in a web browser, I've navigated to my Tableau 10 server. I selected the site I wish to study, in this case, underwriting analytics. There are specific projects or kind of subsections where I can store workbooks specific to various topics. In this case, I have my projects broken out between ad hoc reports and published reports. I'll quickly take a look at the data sources connected to this site on my Tableau 10 server. And you can see that you can connect to a variety of different data sources. So I have some analysis services sources here, as well as an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, they can be switched off between live and extract. Um, and Tableau 10 also kind of visually represents how many ad hoc workbooks have been built on top of each data connection. But for right now, I'm interested in studying a specific workbook. And it's one that I favorited. Um, and it's the Lost Dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And within this workbook, there are three views. A view is an, is an individual dashboard. The one that I'm interested in studying today is Customer Analysis. So once this dashboard loads, uh, I can see that I can quickly switch between the dashboards, uh, the different views, by clicking the tabs up here. I also have the option uh, to share or download and start editing locally uh, in Tableau Desktop. But for right now, I'm going to showcase the uh, web authoring feature as part of Tableau 10 server. So I'm going to go ahead and click this Edit button here and launch the web authoring capability. So once the page loads, you'll notice that the interface is similar in look and feel to Tableau Desktop. So I can toggle between tabs here. Uh, the tabs represent different dashboards. And then the different worksheets that uh, constitute those dashboards. I can even create a new worksheet or create a new dashboard. But for right now, what I'm interested in doing is kind of enhancing this chart, uh, breaking it out uh, so that we have losses not only by the class of business, but also by the uh, region where the risk is located. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to this specific chart as I would um, in Tableau Desktop. So I'll navigate to it. And what I'm primarily interested in doing is replacing this, uh, this field along the rows with uh, the field that is region. So I'll start by duplicating this sheet, right-clicking and duplicating. I'll rename the sheet uh, losses by risk region. And then I'll go ahead and drag region on top of where parent class of business was. Again, I want to sort in a kind of descending order by losses, so I'll quickly do that here. And all that's really left for me to do now is to return to the dashboard and add that new worksheet that I've created. So I'll drag that on, position it below the parent class of business chart. I'll remove this text box and instead opt to just show the uh, names of the sheets since they're pretty descriptive. Add a title here. Then I'm going to quickly resize the charts such that the title uh, of the dashboard is smaller. 
And then I'll go ahead and um, save this new dashboard that I've created. So I'll save as um, and give it a, another name. So I'll uh, give it a friendly name and call it V2 and retain the same settings as uh, the prior version and save it to the same project location. And once that uh, workbook is finished saving, I'll return to my Tableau server homepage navigate to the project where I saved it, and you'll see quickly that it's been added as the newest addition um, to this project site. So that was a quick view of web authoring as a new feature in Tableau 10 server. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you for watching.